feel amazing. I feel amazing. Um, I'm excited. I'm happy with the, how the draw went. And I think this is an amazing time to be alive. Exactly. Rico, you chose to fight against Sufyan Laiduni. Why? I chose for Sufyan Laiduni as my opponent because at the guys that were on the stage, in which I could choose from, he was the highest ranked. And And I also believe that he's the, the best kickboxer of all three, uh, all four, actually. Um, so that's why I chose him. And you don't want any discussion like, oh, Rico took the easy route because this guy is uh, ranked number seven or ranked number six or whatever. No, I'll just take the highest ranked guy just to take every discussion out of the conversation. What do you think about his style? The style of Laduri is, is all round. He's South Pole, he's Orthodox, he attacks from different strange uh, angles. So he's definitely uh, yeah, somebody to reckon with. And he beat your, um, your teammate, Benjamin Degui, in his last fight. Do you want to avenge the loss of your, of your friend, so you can say it? And Sufian Laduni beat my training partner, Benny Adegbui. So we got something to settle with this guy. So everything came together. I also want to know what's your motivation, Vico, because I think you are unbeaten since 2015, and in glory to boxing, you are unbeaten for a decade now. What motivates you? What motivates me to take part in this tournament and to just still keep fighting is just to be a better version of me every time. So every fight I do, I look at myself and I just say like, hey, I, we won, but what could have we, what could have gone better? And look at that. And from that on, we, we keep working, we keep building and try to be a better fighter than we were in that last fight in the upcoming fight. And that's how we try to evolve every time. All right. No Jamal Ben Sadiq, no Alistair Overeem, and no Badr Hari in this tournament. Is it, is it something that you regret or absolutely not? No, definitely not because everybody that deserves to be in there is in there. So I hear the question that you're asking like why is uh, Butter not in, why is Ellerson not in, or why is Jamal not in, is because they do not deserve to be in this tournament for whatever reason. So, and I think everybody that deserved to be in this tournament is in there. Everybody that performed throughout last year at the best of their abilities and had the performances and the wins they needed to have to be here, that's what they did. And everybody that's not in there, they didn't. So I think, yeah, there's there's no questions. There's no question why they're not in. To just look for the answers, be smart. And I like, yeah, but this, but it. I understand why people think that or they think, oh, but this is an exciting fight or whatever. But everybody that deserved to be in there is in there. So I'm really thankful and I'm really happy with the tournament, how it came out and excited to, I think it's an exciting time to be alive. And people are gonna get so much from glory on March the 9th because normally you get to see, especially Rico, fight one time at the end of the night, the main event. And now you're gonna be lucky, but you're gonna see him three times in one night. Let's go. That's just great. And Rico, there is a lot of mutual respect between you and Sofia Laiduni, but the 9th of March is going to be a war. Of course, but uh, there's, there's, uh, there's mutual respect between me and Sofia Laiduni because I literally expect, uh, respect everybody. My opponents, uh, his trainers, uh, my trainer, whatever. Every person you need to respect because I truly believe that we are no different from one another. 
we all do the same thing. Uh, we all wake up, we all brush our teeth, we all have breakfast. So just respect each other, and especially in the ring. We all know how hard that whole road is towards getting ready for a fight. So you have to respect that, and you have to respect your opponents uh, while doing that. But the moment that, that first bell goes, the respect is still there, but we want to win, and it's war. In your opinion, in your opinion sorry, except Sofia Naidoo, who is the most dangerous opponent of this tournament? Um, so let's take uh, Sufian Laduni out of the question. Who's the most dangerous in this tournament? It's it's hard. It's hard because the thing is, you don't know how people are gonna grow during the tournament. So everybody knows I got a really high head on for uh, Levy. So I'm really excited to see him. And I know he competed in more tournaments and he did, he did pretty good. So, uh, but the same thing is for Cookie. He also won the tournament to qualify for this, uh, for this tournament. So it's like I said, it, it's hard to say. It's hard to say and everybody has their own, uh, their own style. But I do believe that Levy is the, the most all round of all the, the four guys that are on the other bracket.